International Monetary Fund said on Sunday that a third of the global economy will be in recession this year. IMF chief Kristalina Georgieva said 2023 will be tougher than last year as the main drivers of the world economy, the United States, European Union and China are all witnessing slow growth. She said and I quote, We expect one third of the world economy to be in recession. Even countries that are not in recession, it would feel like a recession for hundreds of millions of people. The predictions come after the IMF in October cut its global growth forecast from 2.9% in July to 2.7% amid the war in Ukraine and sharply rising interest rates around the world. So let's understand each of these economies with some data. First, the United States. Despite Georgieva saying that Washington may escape recession, the threat of one still looms large. According to a Bloomberg survey from last month, 70% of economists feel that the US may sink into a recession this year. This figure is more than double of what it was six months ago. In 2022 alone, the United States economy witnessed two consecutive quarters of contraction. In the first quarter between January to March 2022, the US economy contracted by 1.6% in terms of GDP. Then, as per its official revised data, the US economy contracted by another 0.6% between April and June. Two consecutive quarters of contraction technically mean a recession has arrived. Things improved slightly in the third quarter when the US's GDP increased at an annual rate of 2.9%. On the inflation front, the rates cooled down to 7.1% for the 12 months that ended November 2022 after rising 7.7% previously. But the US Federal Reserve isn't celebrating yet. It has projected a mere half percent growth this year and a rise in unemployment that would be the equivalent of about 1.6 million more people out of work by this time next year. Fed Chair Jerome Powell said he feels the country can maintain modest growth and sees only a modest increase in unemployment. Moving on from the US to the European Union, the bloc found itself in the midst of an energy crisis after Russia cut off gas supplies as a retaliatory measure to EU sanctions. European Economy Commissioner Paolo Gentiloni expected the winter to be bad, saying growth will not return before spring. As per its last available data, the growth forecast for all of 2023 was lowered to 0.3% from 1.4% expected in the previous forecast from July, mainly due to high energy prices. Even inflation remains a point of concern. Inflation in the Eurozone was at 10.1% in November 2022, down from about 10.6% in October 2022. And on expected lines, Energy had the highest annual rate in November at 34.9%, compared with 41.5% in October, followed by food at 13.6%, compared with 13.1% in October. Germany, which is Europe's largest economy, took the biggest hit following Russia cutting off gas supplies, where inflation climbed up to 11.6%. In fact, the Munich-based IFO Institute reversed its June forecast of 3.7% growth for 2023 and now predicts that Germany will contract by 0.3%. Due to energy prices and inflation still remaining on the higher side, economists are doubtful whether the consumer's purchasing power will pick up despite government aid. Then there's China. The zero-COVID strategy went horribly wrong for Beijing's economy as businesses suffered due to large-scale restrictions. And now, with COVID cases exploding, the world's second largest economy is expected to be in trouble. The official purchasing managers' index for December showed that China's factory activity shrank for the third month in a row and at the fastest rate in almost three years as COVID infections spread at an alarming rate. Even the IMF admitted that 2023 would be off to a slow start for China. Kristalina Georgieva said, and I quote, for the next couple of months, it would be tough for China. The impact on the region will be negative and the impact on global growth will be negative.